Pew pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! Pew pew! Yep, it's time we talked props. Pew pew! Welcome back to another edition of Nexus Dawn Studios. This time I thought we would talk about props. Previous videos have been about the workshop, which as you can see, is still in somewhat in a state of mess. However, that will change in time. But back to the topic of props. Let's talk movie props. So when I first started about eight, nine years ago in making props, I had joined the 501st, particularly the Redback Garrison in Queensland, Australia. One of the first props I really wanted to make was the EC-17 Scout Trooper Blaster. Let me show you the components and how I came up with the prototype. The majority of the prototype was made out of timber. As you can see here, one of the scopes that was made was turned on a wood lathe out of hardwood timber and highly polished so that I didn't have to do too much detailing to it before I cast it. Obviously I didn't choose this one. I went with another one which is a little bit narrower, a little bit sharper on that, that um, angle there. Anyway, what I also added to that, to the wooden master that I have here, was the top of a scope ring. Just one of those. Took the top off, glued it on there, and then filled out the base of it with some timber and lots of putty. Sanding, lots of putty. And some more sanding, and probably a little bit more putty. These knobs here were actually cut down uh, tightening knobs from a bracket which used to sit on my dashboard for a GPS. Gone are the days of GPS, so gone was the need for the bracket. So I cut those knobs off, put them on there, and I thought, yeah, that looked all right. Little details which makes the kit my own. Now, along with the master were these. So this is a spare that I had. Actually, it's the other half of this that I cut down on my bandsaw which was also turned on a lathe out of hardwood. Again, same process for the side here. The front of this prototype, this is actually a piece of MDF around here. And then right up here are two nozzles. One from a silicon tube and the other from another tube of glue. So I cut them up, put them together, and I think they look great. Little details, which I think really make the kit personal and makes it my own. In addition to that, all I needed to add was a transistor. And these, you just buy them for like 20 cents off of eBay. So really easy. And that's basically what they used on the screen used prop from Return of the Jedi. In addition to that, there is a trigger guard. Now the trigger guard is just made out of 20 by three mil flat aluminum bar. 110 mil long, bent it into shape, and it will eventually go into the master like so. I went with an aluminium guard so that if people dropped it, it wasn't going to break. Let's move on to the kit itself. And there you have the kit. Both of the main parts of the kit are cast with Procast from Barnes. Uh, I've tinted them black, it's always a nice finish. Again, aluminium trigger guard, which goes into the main body, a transistor, and five screws slash bolts. Generally, when I sell the kit, I already have it pre-assembled, so my clients don't have to worry about it. Quite often, people don't paint them because they already come in black, but I have my own, which I've already spray puttied, undercoated, sanded, and will paint it all a nice satin black. But let's move on with the assembly. I start with countersinking some holes with a hand drill. An electric drill is just too aggressive and too quick, so I use my old faithful here. You can see I've added a red tube, which is actually a pen, for a depth gauge. This way, I know when to stop every time. After that, I drill right through to make way for the bolts. Now the bolts just need to slip right on through. So I have a drill bit, which is exactly the same diameter as the bolt. If you're a 501st member and you want to find out who I am on the forums, you can find me under the name of O Evil One. From there, we drill the holes for the bolts so that they can go straight into the main part of the blaster. Then I insert the very long bolts. 
and we just screw them in. And screw them in. And keep screwing them in. Now let's see how the trigger guard fits. After we persuaded the trigger guard into the handle, beautifully seated, nice and flush, parallel with the body, which is just perfect. All we need to do now is put a single screw in there and that'll hold it in forever. Last bit of detail is our little transistor. First, we need to actually punch it so that it actually has a little indent because that's pretty much what they did on the original prop. So, I usually just grab a big fat nail, use the blunt end of it, bada bing, bada boom. Nice indent. Now that we've detailed a little transistor, all we need to do now is drill out the little holes that are marked, already pre-marked on the mold, so they come out perfect every time. And then we just screw it on home, with the two little screws provided in the kit. And there we have it for our very first Prop video! The EC17 Scout Trooper Blaster Kit. Fully assembled! Cute little details. Must be time to take it for a test ride. Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! For the Empire! Thanks again for watching! Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next video.